Good evening, good evening, good evening. This is uh, your Commissioner for Public Relations, Sylvester L. Lewis, uh, all here part of the historical Louisiana First Jurisdiction Church of God in Christ. And it is USAC, uh, the virtual experience. And we are certainly in that USAC state of mind. This is what we started on last year, the conversations at convocation. And I'm gonna bring in our host, that dynamic district missionary all the way from Monroe, Louisiana, the one and the only district missionary, Geneva Calloway. She's coming in at this time. There she is. That's the uh, one and only, the, the, the playwright, the interviewer, the, the, the speaker, are excellent. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I am Geneva friend. Calloway here with Conversations from the Convocation. I am so excited to be here with you, Mr. Lewis. Are you ready for this week? I am USAC? ready. I am ready. You know, we got that hashtag out that I'm still in that USAC state of mind. We've been watching old videos, reminiscing uh, all our time being back. We, when we were down in Lafayette and some of us even go further back and we used to travel around to Monroe and uh, Lake Charles wow. and, you know, even Grambling. Uh, uh, my very first year, I was like in the fifth grade, but it was even back then. And so when we get into that USAC state of mind, it brings back so many yeah. wonderful memories uh, of, you know, just being together. Uh, I, I know I've reported to a lot of um, people that if it wasn't for USAC, I don't know if I probably would have stayed around. But when I found USAC and saw, you know, that it was more than just me that was going through some of the things I was going through as a child growing up in this church, it helped me stay around, helped me uh, stay with the church and learn how to love the church. And because uh, this is just the small thing, because I think from USAC came UNAC and now we know what it's ain't. And so, um, you know, it's, it's such a wonderful time. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I hope I'm not aging. I hope I'm not dating myself. <laughs> but I was in, I remember when it was just three districts. Oh, wow. Bishop Wimbush <laughs> was a superintendent. Wow. Our first, I was still in the Monroe district. I knew our first, very first district missionary, Ada people. Wow. Our second one, yeah, I, I, I'm aging myself. I look much younger than I actually am. But so it comes to you. That's your pedigree. <laughs> if, I remember. You, if you the, remember when it was superintendent of Win Bush? Wow. <laughs> that, so that yeah. tells you that's been a minute. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's been a minute for a lot of us, and I mean, uh, but now here we are in something that is just totally new. Um, I think my wife even looked up to see, because even with the national convocation uh, being um, canceled and going to possibly an mm -hmm. online virtual experience, she looked back to see, has this ever happened before? And yeah, it has. It, it, yeah. it happened before, um, way back in the last um, pandemic, I think that was yellow fever, uh, when it hit the country. Was um, that, that 18, was, 1908 or so? It was around that time. Uh, it was over uh, over a hundred years ago, and so uh, the convoca uh, convocation was actually uh, called off because of that pandemic. That and was so, toward the beginning of the church. That toward was the beginning. Toward the beginning. Toward yeah. the beginning, and so, um, but never have our eyes seen such. No. You know. Um, 9 eleven. Oh yeah. Hurricane Katrina. And all we the other things, home. we still had you said we still had our things, but this, I mean, Hurricane Katrina was in Louisiana, and we yeah. still had you said. Yeah. 9-11 devastated the whole world, the whole United States. We still had you said we still had convocation. Yeah. So this is this is something, uh, but I guess if you can look at it, the time that we live in right now, um, this is better than then because when, when it was called when the national um convocation was called off back then they really didn't have anything else to do but probably go to their own church because i don't think they closed churches but 
because they didn't couldn't get the word out like that. But they probably well, did places, do that all in their own homes. Yeah, um, in your own home. I think, well, you know, back in the day, USAC, it, well, district meetings sometimes were held in people's homes, you know, yeah. way back when, you know, it was small, deep group. But yeah. uh, I can imagine that they probably were not allowed to assemble together in a large group either. Yeah. I, I do know out here, just, uh, just those who know, the one of the big changes that happened with me is I'm now seated in Atlanta, Georgia. Woo! So I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Louisiana boy in the Georgia world. Well, replay. Uh, <laughs> replay over in Georgia. Uh, but as I looked at some of the old pictures they had of Georgia Tech, where I'm now working, they even showed them in masks. And oh, wow. I was like, oh, wow, look at that. They showed the last pandemic that happened and wow. they were still doing things and they were wearing masks even back then. And so uh, even though it's been unheard of for a lot of us, uh, if you can find someone of the age, they could remember, you know, yellow fever and the different things that came through. Uh, but mm -hmm. as time is now, you know, now we have this. We have the virtual experience. We can actually do this. I think uh, I'm, I'm so happy that um, we had even talked about Zoom and different things like that back in December yeah. uh, and trying to bring this into uh, the jurisdiction on how we could use uh, these different platforms to even do some of our training uh, because, you know, landmass wise, uh, Historical Louisiana First is big. I think this is uh, the largest jurisdiction in the nation. I, I've I really heard do. Uh, on um, that year, I believe, within Bishop Proctor's first year, he spoke for um, Bishop Blake at West Angeles and um, okay. doing his introduction. And you can see that video on our um, on our uh, YouTube channel. So um, make sure you check that video oh, out. So make sure you check it out. He spoke twice in one day, and it happened to be on Bishop's birthday. And so he introduced Bishop and he said that historical Louisiana first jurisdiction is one of the largest Gorgeous. jurisdictions in the brotherhood. Yes. Uh, and that's land, land wise, because we go from North Louisiana all the way down mid to near uh, deep south of it. Uh, and then the amount of churches and districts that we have. Um, you know, it's, we it's, make a it's, big impact on the really national does. stage. We really do. I don't yeah. think people appreciate what Louisiana First is on the national stage. When you see, when we come together and we say we showing up, it's like, uh oh, wait a minute, Louisiana First in the house. Uh oh, <laughs> oh what's yeah. gonna happen now? You know, oh, you yeah. can expect some things to happen if Louisiana First and this year we all going. It's over with. Oh, you know, yeah. all the seats gonna be taken. They know everybody gonna be shouting. <laughs> Yeah, so 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 they, they it really is uh, something special when we get together because uh, uh, I've seen it I've seen other convocations and other meetings and there's nothing like mm -hmm. our meeting in Louisiana first. Uh, some I've seen some that look like a district meeting almost, and that's their yes. USAC. Their yes, United their aim State <laughs> is our is a district meeting for us. Yes. I made that comment earlier this year, uh, <laughs> but it is what it, it is. What it is. It is what it is. But this is conversations at the uh, at the convocation, and um, I'm gonna turn the tables because usually you're the one asking us questions. I'm gonna let you ask me some questions, but usually you're the one who asks us questions. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you uh, when we started on last year. I believe uh, we had already started talking about, hey, we need to do something, we need to do something. Uh -huh. And then you approach me, hey, is there something I can do? And I had an idea, I said, you know what? I wanna have, you know, when we do some interviews, we can play it in between uh, the offering before and after. And then we started getting people, when they saw it, they start asking us, could they be interviewed? And so, but I wanna ask you as the interviewer, um, what was your most memorable from last year in reflecting of uh, uh, conversations from the convocation? It was, I like overlooking, being in the balcony and overlooking all of the saints. And as they are, as they exude and amplify God, 
that was amazing to be a part of that, to see it from above, to see all the saints together, loving on each other, worshiping God together. That was a highlight. Hmm. Other highlights, just like you said, for our first year where we said we're just going to offer antidotes in between the offering and things like maybe make announcements to go into conversations at the congregation and where people are like, we want to come talk to you. And people worldwide have seen some of our videos and are impressed by what Louisiana First has to offer. And we got some great things down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I know one of mine, and, and, and it wasn't an interview, but it was a moment in USAC is when mm -hmm. our governor came. And that was number one, he was a seated governor. We knew it was an election year, but what I liked is that he did not campaign. He actually talked about, I think we were near facing another hurricane. Yes. Uh, I mean, we had just had a hurricane and we wasn't even sure if we were gonna even be able to yeah. do the convocation yes. or if he was actually gonna show up. And so I remember wow. even calling saying, so is he coming or is he sending a representative? And they mm -hmm. kept saying, no, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Then I was like, okay, well, he's gonna come, he's gonna say what he has to say and leave. And he stayed, uh, even getting up and you know, having more than one remark. Uh, I thought that was just something because that was unprecedented. unprecedented. Um, and then the interviews, I think your, your, your funnest interview seemed like to me is when you interviewed the supervisor. Okay. Because you all really just had a conversation. Uh, I think we had to almost stop it because it went, it seemed it like going. you all, it was going. I mean, y'all really was having a conversation. Uh, and so that was, that was real, that was real good. And I saw, um, I think that I felt like I was, I was speaking to my mentor and a wise woman. And then she just wanted to expound and share with us. You know, she yeah. wanted people to, and I think that's part of who she is, is she just wanted people to know, I'm just like you all. I can sit down and have a conversation and laugh too. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and pass a joke or two. Yeah, she was having fun. She was having fun. <laughs> she was really having fun. Uh, and so, and that's what it's all, that's what it's all about. That was one thing I loved about, I still love about USAC, is that you get to see the other side of people. Um, and, you know, I've been blessed to now see the other side of the other side. I mean, I've been working over 20-something years with uh, USAC being on staff, but now being on the planning side of it, it was like, oh, wow, and hearing the conversations that go on, okay, I didn't know it was like that, but um, that needed to be brought out, that needed to be seen by our uh, young people need to see it. And so they can see they can be in those roles as well. Um, outside yes, of what we do Definitely. here, because you're a district missionary, well, you're a district missionary, but outside of that, what are you doing now? Because I think our young people and everybody need to know it's not just church. Hmm. But what are you doing now? Well, it's not just church. You know, uh, actually, I'm beginning to do or talk to it. I guess some people may say it's a church thing. It's called Geneva Calloway's Missionary Moment. And, and I do it my way. Um, I do skits, I might have somebody singing, but I talk about current issues and how they relate to the Bible and how they affect us today. And I think that's so important that I talk politics, I talk church, I talk uh, wrath, I talk, uh, I, I talk about everything. I, think, I, I feel that it's important to our people that our young people recognize that they are important. Black Lives Matter, we talk Black Lives Matter. Uh, we, we want to, we've invited people from young people who are involved in organizing these groups to come speak to our people about the importance of them voting this year, making sure you're registered to vote and you vote because your vote counts. So it's, it's called Missionary Moments with Geneva Calloway. It's on um, Praise the Lord, pr Preach the Word Worldwide. Preach, preach, preach the Word. The Word <laughs> Worldwide Network. Yes, mm -hmm. Preach 
the word worldwide. But it goes beyond that because I'm also looking at uh, doing a, a show for Channel One out of uh, Houston. And they just want me to produce a show. They don't want to necessarily be gospel. They just want you to me to write something for them. So I'm looking into that. And so like you say, it. but the thing about it though, it's not all church. But I really, when I graduated from college, I really did solicit God and say, God, I have this passion to impact people in different ways through the power of the word. And I want to be able to do it through the church. And it seemed like overnight, God opened up doors for me to start doing skits and plays with the church. And, but yeah, it, it, it is a, it's a part of my life now. My kids, like, I'm sure they're tired of me because, you know, we're doing Zoom videos and I'm like, you're cameraman one, you're cameraman two, you got the lights. <laughs> All teachable moments. <laughs> you never know where that may lead to. You never know what that may lead to. Um, because, and, and I can give you, I, I know I put my testimony out, even how I got out here. Uh, even though Bishop said that he rebuked the devil <laughs> when he announced that I was going to it, coming to Atlanta. Um, but it was actually through the church and the things that I've done with the jurisdiction that actually helped me uh, get the job that I have out here at Georgia Tech. And it kind of blew me away uh, how that was even done. Because um, one, it was, it's a leap of faith. Okay. <laughs> I was not, you know, I tell people, you know, over 20 some years, I was supposed to have been in Atlanta. That was my original plan uh, from when I graduated from Grambling State. Uh, but God had a different way of doing things. And so uh, when the job came up, when they interviewed me, number one, I did the interview at the church oh. with Rusty. Really? I did the interview at the church. Um, the, the last interview they wanted to do, I couldn't get out here, so they say we could do it uh, through uh, this means, video conference. And so I asked permission, can I go to the church and do it? Uh, one, so I could have the privacy because during the day, no one was going to be there. I was going to be at work. And so we did that, but when talking to them, every question that they asked, I talked about what we did at USAC. <laughs> I talked about, you know, scholastic motivations and stuff we were doing in scholastic motivations. And I did not know that the job dealt with robotics. It dealt with mathematics. Uh, it dealt with everything that uh, event wow. planning. <laughs> and that's my job is dealing with event planning uh, within my first week here i was put up and announced that this is the this is one of your coordinators for the state competition for first lego league and i just kind of looked at him talking about how, how and then he told him oh he's only been on the job for like eight days and he's now going to be over the entire state competition and I'm like, okay wow. but that <laughs> so, tells you the caliber of people Historical Louisiana First produces. Yes. It tells you yes. that, and that other people appreciate the skills oh, yeah. that have been grown and nurtured through this first jurisdiction. Wow. Oh, yeah. Hey, wow. It's just just the other day, when we talk about that, just the other day, one of our products from um, first jurisdiction announced his candidacy for Congress for uh, Congressional District Number Five, which is Monroe Bunky. Uh, Lincoln Parish, and so he's making his bid for Congress, and Who he's a that? product. This is Martin oh, Lamell Jr. A... Say that Martin, again. Martin Lamell Jr. Uh, he grew up at Miracle Temple Church of God in Christ. His mother was the Scholastic Motivation Ministry uh, director uh, locally and districtly hey. uh, when she was at Ruston District, but she's now at Crusaders District. She now attends uh, Elder Mason's church. Uh, she, she remarried and live in Shreveport area, but he went into corporate uh, as a graduate and got his MBA. And now he is the uh, executive vice president at Grambling State University uh, and has balanced their budget and everything. And now he's making his bid 
for Congress, and he's a product of historical uh, Louisiana he first. So he saved. Yes. I was there when he was filled. Filled. <laughs> we hold it. You know, because you know they say yeah, it, it, sometimes they say I like it ends at a certain point. You're not saved yeah. anymore if you go into corporate world. You can't be saved and work there. Yeah. <laughs> no, one of the first things he said, I'm a man of faith. And I was like, okay, he still remembers. He's still right there with us and say, All right, run, Martin, run. <laughs> <laughs> and everything and so uh but yeah this is i mean and then we have countless um people who are trying to make differences all throughout their community and what can you say when you look at uh where we come from and who we've had as leaders bishop winbush was a man uh who was known everywhere for what he did and what he did in his community what he did for the church our present uh bishop proctor is you know school board known a pillar of the community in Crowley, Louisiana, as well as uh, over around uh, in Generette, and so he they're known and they're people that we can follow, and if we just follow, we can do those same things. Uh, all of our majority and all of our superintendents, uh, they are people who are known in their area. And so if we, yeah, if we, if we do, like Bishop Mason said, and just follow, you know, you'll catch some of that will fall off on you as well. And so, um, you know, I, I, I've talked about me. I've, I've been honored. I was honored uh, this past uh, month I saw uh, by two uh, Juneteenth committees uh, as a uh, outstanding man of best male or something <laughs> i mean it kind of oh wow this <laughs> is like really and so um it's it's and I, I attest that to what i've learned through the church because when you look at what go what's going on around you you have to almost say like it says in the word uh, by the grace of god there go out you know i could have been you know, uh, I've I, I've been pulled over. I've had you know, uh, all near riots happen around me, and that could have been me. Any of it could have been me, uh, but by the grace of God, there go I. And so, um, I, I'm truly grateful for um, everything that God has done for me, and He, he continues to do. Um, but. And you said, I mean, what are you looking forward to this year? Because this is 2020. It was supposed to be the year of a clear vision. Uh, as I told my wife, it has turned into, you know, you have clear vision. You start seeing stuff you've never seen before. Well, that's happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we didn't think it was going to be like this, but we are seeing things differently. Uh, Actually, um the first episode of Missionary Moments, uh, before all this started, God gave me a story to write. And everything that happened was in that story. And it was before March 13th, and they shut down the country, and they shut down Louisiana. God gave me this story. And it's the first episode of Missionary Moments, where the world is in a pandemic, and it's falling apart. And what do we do now? What do our lose? What will our leaders do? How important are our leaders to be strong and wise and accepting of wisdom? And choosing a good leader is about choosing a good leader for the future. Mm -hmm. Because with our USEC now, and we want, I want to say this now, we have a pre we have an election this year in November, just a few months away, and it's important that here at USEC, I want you guys to make sure everybody here we need to be registering to vote. We need to put a link up so that the people can register to vote if they have not. If they need to get a mail-in ballot, get a mail-in ballot and send it in early. Because if it's late, they might throw it out if it's late. Because they're going to want to count it within, you know, 24 hours. They're going to know who is the president. So you can't yeah. wait until the day of the election to say, I'm going to drop it in the mail. There's a cutoff date. Yeah. And with the, with the pandemic, mail is running a little late sometimes. Yeah. But this year, 2020, it was supposed to be Vision, I, I don't know. I 
this pandemic hit the Church of God in Christ in Louisiana first hard. Yeah. So for me, together, together with my friends, my brothers and my sisters, because even when we do Zoom with my church, with our women's department, we can't see each other every day. But that lifts us up. We sometimes we just come last night, the first lady of my church, she said, let's come together and talk and just hang out together on Zoom. And we shared with each other and tried to uplift each other. For me, for you, Zach, even for convocation, that has always been me. I'm like, I feel like I should live at a convocation. I just love it when the saints are hot like this. You know, yeah. I, when I was a young girl, I remember being a little girl take, going to convocation when I was a little bitty girl in Sunday school. And the Lord just, I remember them saying, this is the largest Sunday school in the world. Mm. But we went to convocation in Memphis. And I said, this is, I want to be here all the time with all these saved folks cheering God on. I need this every day of my life. I feel like this when I come alive. And yeah. to me, when we come together at USAC, that's one of those times where we love on each other, we cheer on each other. We, and the messages, the teachings are always on point, always necessary. I'm looking forward to the master classes each night this year. I'm looking forward to who's going to teach tonight in the master class. Uh, it will be uh, Bishop Designee. Now, he came to us before he was just superintendent, but Bishop Designee, now he's a Matthew Bishop Brown. Designee. Yeah, uh, Matthew Brown from Atlanta, Matthew, Georgia. I'm looking forward to hearing him teach the master class tonight. I want to be closer to God. I want to know more about God. And, I, you know, that's the thing about me. I've always been, I've always been a perpetual learner. I don't, I, by no means do I think I know everything. I want to continue to be taught of God. I may have seen the first page of the Bible and the last page of the Bible, the Alpha and Omega, but I need all it's <laughs> in, between. in between to keep me going. Yeah. And we need each other to keep ourselves going at this time. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to the teach all of those training, Sunday school, Waynell Henson. You know that Sunday school girl? She's involved yeah. this year. She's doing a presentation for Sunday school. I'm looking forward to hearing Missionary Henson. So we have a lot of great things on the, the program to this year. Oh, great yeah. things. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. And the thing about those uh, trainings and, and how we were planning those out, um, each department did bring in what they who they wanted to bring in. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we wanted to make it where uh, everyone could see all of it. Because uh, as we know, like a lot of times when we used to end on Sunday, Saturday was the departmental days. And you will run into the problem where uh, I'll serve different capacities all at the exact same time. I can't get to the youth meeting and the Sunday school meeting and the music meeting and because you, y'all all got them going on at the same time. So I need to send somebody over here and they may not bring it back the way I need it. And so um, the way we have it is that if you go to that portal on our website, uh, WWLA um, first, and that's F-I-R-S-T, spell out jurisdiction.com, uh, and scroll down to where it's virtual, uh, it tells you the virtual uh, portal. You can go on there and at your leisure, you can look through all of them. You can watch all of that training. Uh, our master class is a part of the live stream that begins at 7 uh, p.m. Uh, with um, uh, Bishop designee Matthew Brown on Wednesday and Thursday night. No training on Friday night. Uh, they are going to do something different on Friday night. Um, because I think we're going to hear um, our graduates from USAC, I mean, from C.H. Uh, Mason, as well as those persons who are being licensed and ordained. Uh, we will get to know who they are, our new yes. elders and our new evangelists and deaconess missionaries, yes. uh, what we would have done on Thursday night. We're going to do it virtually. Uh, at least recognize them virtually if we have to, you know, do an actual ceremony a little bit later. Are we doing it August. Thursday or are we doing it It'll Thursday? It'll be Friday night. Friday uh, they, night. They did. Uh, last night we had the pre-convocation prayer 
And that prayer was Ooh. phenomenal. It was Ooh. phenomenal. Um, that was what? I mean, it, it, it really was. We had the prayer warriors, and by the end, you heard I don't even our, know how. I don't even know how Corona can survive. I did a prayer last week. <laughs> it it really, was, it really was phenomenal. I mean, uh, we heard from our, in their prayer, we heard from our assistant supervisor, our supervisor, the first lady, and then the bishop closed it off after the uh, our prayer warriors that normally would open us up every night of our yes. convocation, yes. Um, which was, and so we gave our prayer warriors uh, their time, and it was needed, uh, yes, their time definitely. to do what definitely. we would have normally been doing, um, you know, bombarding heaven with our prayers and our yes. cries before the service. And so uh, Bishop, you know, saw the need for it. And, that's one thing I can say about Bishop. Bishop saw the need for prayer his first year. I think we did. I don't think we ever had that many prayers before the speaker would get up. Because Bishop, they would have the 7 o'clock prayer, and then you have the prayer that's in the program. Then Bishop would get up and address, and before he addressed us with any announcements, he prayed. Prayer is always <laughs> had another order. prayer. So, prayer yes, is prayer always is always in order. In order. And so uh, he, he values, you know, not only just education, but he values prayer because he knows that, you know, it helps us. It helps build the team. It helps get us in the right order. I believe that was one of the things Bishop Mason would do. It seemed like something out of order. Okay, let's get down here and pray. We're going to stop a meeting and we're going to pray because something's not right. And so um, Bishop Proctor is doing just that. And so uh, last night, he had the prayer call and he ended the prayer call. And that's when he also gave us a little bit more insight on what was uh, going to transpire. And so we look, I know I'm looking forward to uh, hearing him on Friday night. And it is different that on Thursday night, our supervisor will be the speaker on Thursday night. And so that's a little bit different. Uh, we don't have the typical women's day and women's night. Yeah, because you know when we when we women get together, it's uh, y'all can't compete with that. We we get all we have all our good Halloween time and one day we get it done. Y'all get it done. Y'all really do. Y'all be y'all take have over. awesome time in the Lord. We have a all, take all day long. We be worshiping and praising the Lord. And we From the be morning trying. prayer to the evening prayer, we praising the Lord and having an awesome time in each other. We 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 try to inspire the men to almost get the same way, but it's sometimes kind of hard because we're pulled in so many different di yeah. uh, directions. Um, but when those women get together, you know, I know, I know it's gonna be missed. Uh, but you know, I think you all have been doing some excellent things leading up to yes. that could, you know, satisfy that with your regional meetings that you've been having and regional I trainings. I personally, I've been doing, you know, I'm, I'm a new district missionary, so I've been having virtual district meetings uh, with my ladies, meetings with yeah. my ladies on Zoom, so they can get introduced to it. And then, yes, our uh, coordinator for our ABU, they yes. had a regional meetings with the district, with the missionaries, aspiring missionaries, and yeah. just all the lay women, ABU leaders, and... And the training and those, like you say, the training and those have been awesome. So we've gotten yeah. had a chance to get together. So you yeah. know, we still used to rolling in the aisles, you know. Yeah. If you say, you know. <laughs> it's it, it's it, and it and it's coming. I believe our supervisor did say that more is coming. Uh, yeah. When she gave us her report on uh, what we could expect with uh, with USAC, and she did say that some more is coming following yes. USAC. Yes. And so um, we want to uh, make sure that all of our people just stay connected. And that's, that's the main that's thing. That's it. Is you that need to you be have connected. to stay connected. Um, believe Bishop uh, was really trying to get, he still keep with his theme of us staying, uh, being equipped for kingdom building. And right. to do that is that we have to not forsaken to assemble ourselves together, even though we have to social distance. We have right. these tools. We have, uh, and I think that's also one of the trainings that's out there. I think that is uh, Ted Scott Jr., Elder Ted, Pastor Ted Scott Jr. Uh, he's talking about um, all of these different platforms that we Which now have, the technology 
And, uh, you know, uh, I know I was in a meeting one time and um, we actually said, well, I guess all those preachers have to stop, you know, uh, down playing or saying that all these devices are of the devil. We need them now. <laughs> okay. <And> so, <laughs> but see, I've always, you know, if the scripture is saying that you're going to be able to teach to everybody over yes. the earth, yes. I've all the angel of the air is the internet. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. the angel, and you can use it. It's just like anything yes. else. You can use it for good or evil. Or evil. And we choose to use it for good. You know, I think it was, definitely um, keeping us it's, connected. It's a, um, a lighter skin, a, a white uh, pastor in Texas, uh, Jimmy Evans. Uh, okay. He and his wife usually do a lot of things dealing with marriage and family, but he actually had a statement in one of his books and one of his seminars that said that an idol was a good thing out of, in the wrong place. It was in the wrong priority. We gave it the wrong priority. We abused it. And so okay. uh, I used that even uh, okay. at home to let uh, my past and superintendent, no, there was nothing wrong with Facebook. It's how it was being used. There was nothing wrong with the internet. It's how it was being used. So you can't really preach against it until you know how it's supposed to be used. And when you got a bunch of people misusing it, of course, that's all you're going to see is the evil. I remember, <laughs> I remember, I'm going to age myself again. I remember oh. what they used to say. It's a sin to play marbles. It's like, play marbles. Marvel they say marble not. not. It's just say marble not. It says marvel. Marble. I'm serious. <laughs> yeah. But when they learn better and when we learn, that's why it's they did better. scripture. Yes. So they did better. They did better. And like I said, in back in December, we were in our planning meeting and uh, some the question came up about C.H. Mason. And what can we do about it? We have some people who would love to go, but they can't make it. You know, you change the date. Now they can't make it. Or I work on the oil rig. I can't, you know, come out from the oil rig and do it any kind of way. And I believe they had one student who uh, they opted to try Zoom. And they did a class uh, with that one person on Zoom and everybody else in the classroom. And everyone in the room was like, well, what's Zoom? I never heard of that. And uh, those of us who were in education, we said, oh, yeah, we use it. And I pulled out my phone and said, this is Zoom. I'm right now in a class in New Orleans. I'm sitting here or I'm, you know, in Monroe and I'm taking WebEx. a class via Zoom uh, in, in WebEx and mm -hmm. Blue Jeans. And now I think Google even has one. Yeah, Facebook Google has meetings. one. Uh, everybody. Meetings. Yeah. Everybody's now having one. But really, but, you know, they were afraid. We don't know anything about that. We don't know anything about that. But we were telling them, you know, this would be perfect. This would be, this would add to. This was, you know, yeah. it took, you know, after, while this was going on, that Bishop um, uh, Gatlin said, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't see more people <laughs> on my virtual, <laughs> on my virtual Bible study than I done seen in person when I was at the church having it. Running <laughs> late, you're running late, your ch children running late. Yeah. Don't feel like you look quite right. I, I'm not going to church looking like this, but you can call yeah. in or you can, you can call in. You know, my, and, and mother in says she, my mother says she's loving My mother is 69 years old. She doesn't want to drive at night. And she said, you know, you put this on my phone and I can call in and I put it on speaker and I can just walk around the house and listen and hey, ain't missing nothing. I love this, I love this. And then she told us, oh, we didn't got it, we're not. I can give yes. at home. They, yes. What is that? They, they told me to get this app on my Give phone. What is it called? I said, <laughs> Givelify. Yes. Yeah, well, you had already put a cash app on my phone and said, and so now I can just, I like this. I love this because things are getting kind of hard for me. You know, all the kids are gone. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to drive at night. I barely want to drive during the day. And I was like, yeah, so this is, this is technology model. So I'm glad you weren't afraid of it because, you know, around me, she couldn't because I was going to have technology all around me anyway. And so, uh, but yeah, we had made that conversation. 
can't fight against the technology anymore. Now we need it. We see the importance of it, you know. Um, and for a lot of places, you know, it's really helping a lot of things out. So that's actually one of the trainings. I think it's more than one of the trainings uh, that is going on this week. Then uh, we know we're opening up tonight with a very special guest, uh, our uh, interim first assistant presiding bishop. Our interim first assistant presiding bishop. Yes, uh, the Bishop Jerry Wayne Macklin from Hayward, California. I can't believe Bishop Macklin is here. (laughs) And I love Bishop Macklin. Okay. I, I see Bishop Bagley as a, I see him personally as a as a mentor to me. Uh, just his voice, okay. <laughs> I just, uh, his voice and his delivery. And then I was floored to find out that early in his ministry, Bishop Wimbush brought him uh, to Louisiana first in hopes to be a pastor in Crowley, Louisiana. I remember. He was supposed I think I to be this. the pastor for what first church in Crowley, and his daddy told him to come home, <laughs> and so he went home. But he would have been right here with with us. So uh, he, he, I know he's always said he thanks Bishop Wimbush for even thinking about him, and okay. so uh, uh, Bishop Proctor has called. I call him his his wayward brother home to speak to us. <laughs> Um, because he, I mean, and so he does have a Louisiana connection, uh, and, uh, also Louisiana connection, his sister-in-law, <laughs> also a product of the Ruston district. <laughs> we have every, we go everywhere, don't we? Yes. So Louisiana yes. first was, is going to, is going to touch seated, you in some kind of way. <laughs> Louisiana first has seated the rest of the United States and not the oh, world. Yeah. The church of yeah. God in Christ here, we've seated the rest of the Oh, there is yeah. the rest of it. We, we, we have touched everybody. Uh, I, I look at, uh, I was able to uh, call and talk to the SMM, Interna- the International SMM Director of Scholastic Motivations, uh, in which I'm trying to figure out that connection. He says that supervisor is his cousin. Um, but uh, he, he, he talks so lovingly about um, Bishop Winbush and how he started SMM and how he put SMM on the map. And that's why uh, our SMM carries the moniker that this is the birthplace of Mm -hmm. SMM because it started here in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And now it's on its way to become our next department within the Church of God in Christ, uh, the education department. Right now, if you want to get certified in urban initiatives, you have to have a working SMM in your church. And Uh-oh. so, um, and, and through Urban Initiatives, you're able to find, you know, those help grants, you know, for uh, different projects, not to grant your church, but for uh, other projects and different things that you will do that's going to help the community. Yes, like so, clothing bank, food yeah. banks, things like that. Yes. Yeah. And, and giving so, out masks now. Yeah. So what they're asking for is a educational uh, side of that ministry. And uh, they have decided to put in the book that that is to be filtered through a viable SMM uh, within your church, you know, Scholastic Motivations in your church, which is a form of outreach to the community because we're using some of those same things from um, the education, the academic uh, world uh, with STEM, with robotics, mathematics, right. computer. I know, that is um, amazing, STEM. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you talk so, about getting your kids into MIT, into Harvard. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I can put that plug in that if they do robotics, they can get in free at, in Georgia Tech. They didn't got to take a test. <laughs> and I, I, when I found that, I was like, oh, wow, I need to get a whole bunch of people into robotics. <laughs> really? Well, see, today, I use Zoom today with my kids. They were on a a, a programming and coding app today. Yes. And they, one okay. of them made an app today. Yeah. 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 Uh, online. So, and That's one of them told me she wants to be an engineer. I'm like, okay, we're going to start now. This is the pandemic. You don't have anything to do. Yeah. Mother has you. I got something <laughs> for you. <laughs> 
But I yeah, got yes, you, baby. Yes, 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 yes. So it's all, it's all in the church. And, you know, a lot of that really started with the vision of one of our leaders. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's why, um, you know, we should just stay connected with what's going on. Because we because, never know where anything's going to go. Yeah. We never know because, where we're going to go. That's right. And, and really, I'm, I'm going to share this with you. This is me. One of my lifelong dreams was to work with NASA. And so I'm a STEM certified educator through NASA. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I'm a STEM distinguished educator through NASA. Yes, I am. Go ahead. Cold go ahead. Jig. <laughs> we said it first. NASA. See? Yes. <laughs> Yes. See, we're destroying, we're destroying that myth that uh, yes. that, that Kojic, uh, Church of God in Christ people, we were backwards. We may have started in, you know, backwards Mississippi, but we didn't stay there. No. <laughs> and even back there, we have school. <laughs> and we continue to grow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, it's important that we have C.H. Mason Bible College. That's important. Yeah. You get knowledge and you get training. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so uh, it, it, is, it is truly, truly wonderful. But this is the backstage experience. We're letting you know. Uh, we've let you know about what we have, what's been going on. Uh, we want you to be involved this week. The portal is open for all of the training at USAC yes. from each department, music, missions, Sunday school. What else is having an open department right uh, now? You said music, scholastic motivation. Scholastic motivation, youth. The, the usher board. board. So um, it's, it's, whatever it's, is your fever, the thing that you got, that yeah. we have it for you this year. All you have yeah. to do, and you don't even have to get on Zoom. You can go to Louisiana First yes. homepage. So, look, we have our homepage. We got our YouTube. Y'all y'all got to catch up with the rest of us here. Because well, Louisiana yeah, First is going. doing it. Y'all need to get involved. Go to the homepage. Get online and choose the training you want to see and you want to be a part of. And for those of you who want to graduate from USAC, you're going to get credit for those classes this year. So go in there and make yourself known and, and get trained and get knowledge and, and share it with your local church. Yeah. And, here's the, the, and all of this is free. Uh, no registration fee. No registration fee for anything. Even with Scholastic, um, we... Louisiana First is actually going to present a remote virtual uh, SMM village the week what? after, or uh, the 20th through the 22nd. The so that means after. like spelling bee, math. We're gonna have we're gonna have spelling bee and math. They're gonna be on cahoots.it. Okay. Um, Wait, say that again. Cahoots. Cahoots.it. Matter of fact, cahoots.it. That, it, I .it. This, this sign language. I. <laughs> T. <laughs> yes. Dot IT. Um, we're going to uh, have our visual arts, which is our actual, you know, doing art, whatever your, whatever uh, um, platform, whatever uh, type of art you do, you'll be able to meet with uh, our director uh, or our team lead for the art, and that is uh, Missionary uh, Ward. Missionary Nicole Ward. Ward. Nicole I think Ward. she's doing a Zoom. And so they'll be able to show their piece and talk about their piece. Uh, we're, we're going to change it and do it a little bit like how the National is doing, have them pre-record and send in pre-recording. But we didn't make that decision until late. So we said we'll keep it at Zoom uh, as a first attempt because she really wants to talk to them and give them some critiques. Uh, she actually uh, has on her training and uh, artist from Monroe um, and I believe she's going to bring him in to help her critique some things. Uh, that's Frank Kelly Jr. Frank uh, Kelly. From West Monroe. He has an art gallery in West Monroe uh, and so I believe she's going to bring him in as well to help critique and give give them pointers and different things. Uh, then uh, we have uh, Donovan. We know him as Dr. Donovan Morris uh, yes. but now he's Donovan Segura. Uh, he did get married, and I guess he decided he was going to take the African name. <laughs> and so now it's Dr. Donovan Segura from, from uh, Southern University. Uh, he, he's uh, one of the top 40 uh, from, at Southern University, okay. uh, product of uh, Louisiana First. Uh, he will uh, have uh, also on Zoom 
um, oratorical. He wants to still do oratorical, and he can give them feedback on. Are you all going to do pageant? You going to do the pageant? We won't be able to do pageant. Uh, we were talking about it. Our uh, she really would rather be in in person, but she does have information out on the training. Uh, okay. Matter of fact, SMM has an overview of a number of things. Just watch the entire video, and uh, but there is something in in there for pageant, but we won't be able to do pageant um, simply because, well, it's a timing thing and they would have to send a whole bunch of stuff in. We would have to start mm, way true. early uh, yeah. for her to do everything that she needs to do. But uh, when all this is over, we'll bring in pageant back because that is our scholarship pageant. And, uh, exactly. And because we didn't have the pageant, sadly, we're not going to present a scholarship this year, but we will. Uh, once we get everything uh, going back up with the pageant, because the pageant and the uh, uh, it helps our young people yeah, get to college. It helps them. It helps it them helps get, take get some to college. stress off of their parents. Yeah, yes. that's special. And so uh, a lot of that is generated through the pageant, and so so we can have you know habits there for them. Uh, mm -hmm. And so, but we do stipulate that to get the scholarship. Uh, the district has to have somebody in the pageant. We need them to have somebody in the pageant because that's where a lot of those funds are generated. Uh, mm -hmm. And now so that, that I've seen, wow, I didn't know that they, I didn't know pageants generated that much. <laughs> pageants can generate a lot of money. They generate yeah. a lot. And so uh, I'm really starting to see, to see that. But uh, that's the only, that's the only new part on that. Uh, is that we won't be presenting a virtual pageant. Uh, she said, I told her I saw one, but she was like, I don't know, <laughs> you know. Uh, she really likes the hands-on, so, and because there's a training she does with it, uh, right. with the girls. I, I actually think uh, Miss Louisiana did theirs kind of virtual. I'm not sure exactly how they did it this past weekend. They oh, had okay. their pageant online. Okay. I don't know if anybody was in the Civic Center Okay. But they had their pageant online. And I could see bits and pieces of okay. like a Zoom, yeah, like the presenters doing something on Zoom. So, but we, but, but we're getting, we're getting creative. We're, we're learning different things. And like I say, it's, it's. Luckily, it hasn't been too, too slow coming, but it is coming. Uh, and so. Uh, I mean, I think this is really dynamic. What we're doing oh, yeah. now that we and have a virtual I, USAC. Yeah. From what I understand uh, from the uh, national director, no other SMM has decided to try and do anything virtual. He was so excited, you know, he said, because all I'm doing, they're showing an old video of us giving a training at, at a luncheon and I'm giving a welcome. What do you need me to do? I said, well, he's, he gave us a welcome. He said, and you're doing, so we're doing our own overview and we're mm -hmm. going to, at uh, next week, we're going to actually have, you know, a way of them doing some activities. You know, Bible Bowl will be on um, on cahoots as well. Uh, and so they was like, okay. Um, what are they uh, supposed to be studying for Bible Bowl? It's supposed to be the Book of Luke, but we told them Luke? just, just, just learn anything because the questions we actually probably pulled the questions from a cahoots that was created through the book for our oh. through the coaches bookstore so y'all locked it actually, up they already had they already had one i have it uh but they already had one i actually helped them build it uh <laughs> so that's how we that's how we have it uh but they presented it at one of the national convocations if you walk mm. through the exchange they were doing a cahoots in the bookstore uh, and it was one that I had helped build, and so and you're bringing I, it back. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it back. And bringing it back. All right, bringing it back. Bringing it back. And so, um, so they'll be able to see it. And this is also our opportunity to do math through cahoots because that is yeah. how we are introducing a team side of the math Olympiad. Okay. And I remember talking to the national direct, uh, director That's of the math idea. competition. And he said, just let me know how that go. Because I hadn't even thought of how, how, how you would be able to do that. And I told him, I said, well, it's technology. And he was like, well, how do you stop him from cheating? I said, well, one, it's timed. 
<laughs> the question is time. And so they have to be able to <laughs> think oh, yeah, on, yeah. go in. They, they don't have time to try and look anything up. They just got to know right. how to do it, get it done. If they have too much time, yeah. they will. Yeah. And so he was like, okay, okay. Let me know how that goes. So we are going to test it out uh, next week. Uh, and so everybody gets an opportunity to, you know, do a team and a team for the math can be two to six uh, people on the team. They just have to be within the same grade level because you don't want a first grader and a 12th grader on the same team, you know. Uh, but uh, they have that opportunity. So we're going to show some things. And so we encourage everybody to – now, there is a registration for that, but there's no fee to it. We just want them to register one because you some of those will know who it is, where they want to go, and we have to give them certain codes, and we want to be able to give them those codes. And because, like, the Zooms are recorded, we want them to sign and say that they know that they are being recorded, okay. and, you know, we have the right to air it, and you know, and they have knowledge of it, and their parents have to you know, sign off. So, I've seen it. So SMFS is doing next week. The youth are doing next some week. things next week. I okay. think the women's department is doing some things next week. Yes. I believe so. Yes. So if you feel like your children didn't get it this week, they're going to be able to get it next week. Yeah. And if they, and if they didn't do the, um, the training this week, it'll still be up. That's all. Oh, yeah. I wanted it'll to say that. The it'll training be will up. be up just for you to access at any time and access worldwide yes. you know it's going to be viewed yes. worldwide and people but are viewing it all over the this world. year we we made a point of that because we wanted USAC to become a global phenomenon i mean even, right. though, you, even though USAC turned to UNAC which turned to AIM which is known all over the world well we want to know we want you to know where it Remember, came from right yeah right and and so we're, we're going to help you we're going to help you see you know, the birthplace of it all. This is, and this is how the it roots. can be done. The roots. You know, yes. I love, I love what we did the other week for, for AIM. You know, I was, we were driving and we was, cause you know, we was like, oh, we would have been going, we would have been in. <laughs> and so we even was driving, you know, if we could have went, if we could have went to uh to the site, <laughs> we would have drove there. But we drove through Baltimore, and I said, "You remember when it was here?" <laughs> it was like it was, so we were so we was having our own aim experience, remembering <laughs> and watching it at the same time, you know. Uh, and so we love what they what they presented. We love what uh, Bishop Dillard presented. That's my friend. <laughs> we love what they presented. I'm glad they were able to do in the men's conference. I was yes. glad to see that. I hate that we couldn't do the women's conference the same way, but I believe it's coming. Uh, the, but now it just wasn't see, enough time, I think, yet. It was, yeah, it, but we did. But they did present a women's track, which is normally what they would do at the men's conference, but they were able to do do that. And that they, the fact that they had uh, Mother Maku address or give a welcome, because uh, they would have been doing her week. <laughs> that was supposed to be in her week. And so uh, I think that that was special. And so we're showing the world what you can do, even though you, because the church is here. It's not really yes. that building, you know, and, and, you know, this is still, you know, not forsaken to assemble ourselves together because we are assembling ourselves together. We, we're meeting on Zoom. We, drive by <laughs> and wave, you know, out here. And, and, and it's different. Here is past our communion. He said, we having communion on, on Facebook. Here's your stuff. I'm setting it down by your door. Walk out and get mm -hmm. it. And on Sunday, y'all take it out and you're going to do communion together, you know. And so mm -hmm. we're learning and appreciating, you know, how we started, you know, how churches started. So let's wrap it. You want to wrap it up and make oh, yeah. sure everybody knows what they have to do to get on yeah. to the training this week, to make sure you see all of the training. You go to our website, the jurisdictional website, and it'll click on any link you want to on any department. Most of the departments have more than one link. So you want to get on all of those trainings so that you can get credit for those trainings for graduation. You can get certificates and you'll get recognized for those things. You should be able so to see here he's, sharing, yeah. 
Okay, he's sharing this so we can all see what is going on this week. And uh, here's tonight, a live, live stream, even how to give as well as that virtual training. Tonight, we have Bishop Macklin. Uh, tomorrow night is Supervisor Gatlin, and then Bishop is going to wrap it up on Friday night. Uh, and wait. Yeah, I can't. I, I really it's going to be wait. better. Good, good or good is, is, is that a appropriate word? Good, good or good is? <laughs> In this connotation, we can. We can say that. We can say that. We can say that. We can say well, that. And again, this week, we are. all those trainings, all those trainings, um, we can look forward to. And, um, and and like you said, if you feel like you need a word and you feel like you are lost and you're lonely and at home by yourself, these trainings are going to still be up for you to draw down each night. Yeah. It's going to be recorded. You can go back to it and click on it again and watch it again. So you don't have to be lonely now. You can always go to our YouTube page and see videos from past years and reminisce yeah. all kinds yeah. of things. So it's great. This technology, like our parents used to say, oh, the devil. <laughs> that one eyed devil and all those. And one eyed devil. You remember those things? They used to say? I remember the one eyed devil and the hell of a But now this is how. <laughs> But now, hello, that's right. But now this is how we're communicating with each other and uplifting each other and we can encourage each other using these things. Yeah. And we'll be doing this uh, um, nightly. And I believe we're going to try to have, like we uh, have tonight, we have the conversations just between us. And, you know, normally just I'm, reminiscing. On the, I'm on the we're other side We're just reminiscing of the right now. So that's why we went on a long time, because we're reminiscing. Yeah. We're thinking about past years. And we and just missed back, each right? other, too. You know, yeah, it's, this, it's, is the, this is the backstage. Open <laughs> this is how we do in the back backstage. We hold conversations <laughs> about everything. And we're going to do this. So we're going to watch out. We're going to... Um, we're gonna get on. We're gonna watch the um, the uh, message, and we'll talk about the message on tomorrow night. And we hopefully will have you know guests, um, and we'll talk interviews. talk to interviews and have a conversation with them. Um, and so we just want everybody just to stay tuned. This is like the aftermath of everything that goes on. And so uh, Bishop said he loved what we did last year. And I was so honored about that. He was like, yes, that's what we did. Remember, he even sat down with us and yes, did, he had, did, we did a conversation with himself. <laughs> and so um, we may be trying to get him to come back because a lot transpired. You know, a lot yes. has transpired. A lot has happened. You know, especially for first, for historical first jurisdiction, you know, we were even, you know, put out on Front Street in the Washington Post. And so... Um, Whew. that really, when I saw it, it was like, oh no. Yeah, on my iPhone, my app, <laughs> bing, bing, the Washington, that's one of the things I have on it. Let's say Louisiana first. Let yeah. Me, and it was really us. Yeah. And not it, in a good it way. Was, it was, and it was. Not in a good way that particular time. So, but, but in a way it was because all we were really trying to do was inform our people. We were taking responsibility. And yes, and that's people. important. Yeah, and you know, important. was a lot of things we had to explain to a lot of people that they just did not know. Mm. They took the they took the article for what they saw, but they didn't know what was leading up to and what actually transpired. Right. And just so happened that neither one of us was there, <laughs> uh, but I had to answer a lot of questions <laughs> and everything. And I, I was getting ready to get on the road, and <laughs> my brother said. My brother lives in Shreveport, and he said, mm -hmm. you know, it's already here. I wouldn't come here if I were you. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm getting ready to leave and come. He said, it's already in Shreveport. I wouldn't come yeah. if I were you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was supposed to have been flying into Shreveport. <laughs> and uh, Bishop told me, Don, one, he told me, don't worry about coming because that's just too much. That's just going to be just too much. Mm -hmm. You know, don't even worry about it. You know, you, you, you're ways away you've done everything that you can do to help out and everything and so but i want to talk to bishop and just to see where he is uh with everything and but how when you come through things vision, you're stronger you know. yeah you, when you come through you're stronger and you're better wiser yeah so he i'm sure he has some things to share with us after oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. what we've seen and the so past we're, we're, we're gonna try and get in contact with uh and get him bring him in 
as well as some others that are around. And so just want them to stay tuned in what we're doing and just know that we won't be at the beginning of service. We're going to be at the end of service this time. And so uh, just stay to stay tuned for the backstage edition of conversations uh, at the convocation. And hopefully it's going to be, it's going to be a uh, uh, district missionary Callaway because normally I'm behind the camera. That is good that we're talking here. They see the man behind the camera. Normally I'm behind the camera. My better I, half. Normally I, I'm the person up in the booth, you know, operating and answering your questions on Facebook, <laughs> you yes. know, and everything. So um, this we all work together though to make it happen. Yeah, we all we all work together. We're all working together, and we continue to do so. So uh, that wraps it up for us on this first on this first night, and. Um, which truly, truly was an honor to be with the one and the only, you know, the 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 the, the playwright extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs> Just so 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 creative. If you haven't, when you get a chance to see her, her um, what she's bringing to you with uh, missionary moments. Missionary moments. Uh, with a uh, missionary. You can put the missionary on. No, you just say Geneva Calloway. <laughs> Geneva Calloway's missionary moments. Missionary moments, you know, when you get to see it and uh, check out the, check out that intro because I didn't play the rap on there, but it, she, she tried to rap with her pastor. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, uh, check it out. Just check it out. Just check it out. Just check it out. Last Have words. Fun. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you close it. Close us totally out. <laughs> This Thank is... you for being with us tonight. Thank you, Brother Sylvester <clears throat> Lewis, excuse me. And for everybody watching tonight, I hope you had a good time in service tonight, this first night of the convocation. I know we did things last night, but I hope you had a great time tonight watching our master class and then watching the word. Tomorrow, tomorrow, you must be in the house. We will have another master class, and our speaker will be none other than the supervisor, Vanessa. Wimbush Gatlin. So I want to see you in the place tomorrow and then come back to us for conversations at the convocation. This has been your host, Missionary Geneva Calloway. Be blessed. See you next time.